Dear students, now we are going to discuss common base configuration in detail. In this configuration, emitter is the input terminal, collector is the output terminal, base is common to both input and output. This is the circuit diagram. In this, the input is applied between emitter and base, output is taken from collector and base. Here the base is common to both input and output. In this diagram, the emitter current represents the input current. Emitter base voltage is the input voltage between emitter and base. Collector base voltage is the output voltage IC that is collector current is the output current. Okay. Here this IB represents the base current which is negligibly small when compared to this collector current. Okay. So here transistor biasing is very important concept in order to make the transistor work in a desired operating point we have to ensure that the emitter base junction is forward biased and collector base junction is reverse biased so this is very important condition here to make the transistor working in a desired q point okay then the current amplification factor so here the current amplification factor for common base configuration is represented as alpha that is equal to the ratio of output current to the input current. Here the output current is collector current, input current is the emitter current with the condition output voltage as a constant one. Okay. Next we are going to discuss the input characteristics of this CB configuration. So it is very very important analysis. So in this characteristics we are going to analyze the input current versus input voltage with the condition VCB as a constant one. VCB means output voltage. Okay. So when this VCB that is output voltage is kept constant as zero. Here the emitter current is increased rapidly by increasing the input voltage so here we are going to increase the forward bias if you are going to increase the forward bias means automatically the input voltage is increased and the current is also getting increased faster do you all understand this concept if the forward bias is increased means the current flowing through the transistor is also increased in the input side that's what given here at the same time when this output voltage is increased that means output voltage means it is due to the reverse bias condition right so when this output voltage is increased then the width of the base is decreased that means here this input characteristics curve shifts towards the left side you can easily understand this diagram when the forward bias is increased the input voltage VEB is increased in turn increasing the emitter current rapidly. Okay, with the condition VCB is equal to 0. So, whenever this VCB is increased, here the base width is getting decreased. If it is decreased, it means this emitter current is easily flowing through this base. That's what given here. When VCB is increased, the width of the base region is decreased thereby increasing the emitter current with small values of input voltage. Then the curve shifts towards the left side. Okay. So next one is output characteristics. In order to determine the output characteristics, the input current that is the emitter current is kept constant. So it can be kept constant at proper value by adjusting the input voltage. Okay. So as we all know that in BJT, the output current is depending on this input current. That means output current is controlled by the input current. So here these two are directly proportional to each other. For a constant value of this emitter current, this IC that is output current is independent of output voltage. Output characteristics means what? output current versus output voltage but for a constant value of emitter current this output current is independent of this one if i is equal to 1 means ic is also 1 
I is equal to 2 means IC is also 2. Do you all understand this concept? So at that time, this output current is independent of this output voltage. Okay. So in this case, the output curves are parallel to this output voltage VCB. There are three regions in this output characteristics. Active region, cutoff region, saturation region. These three regions are very, very important. Here, active region means what? That emitter based junction is forward biased, collector based junction is reverse biased. At that condition, we can get the result I is equal to IC. Correct? So, we can get the maximum output in this condition. That is called as active region. Cutoff region. Cutoff region means the condition is emitter current is almost zero. Whenever there is no emitter current, that means emitter is open. If emitter side is open means there is no input, then there is no output. It is very smaller one. This region is known as cutoff region. So, this smaller value is due to the reverse saturation current. Okay. The third one is saturation region. In this region, the output current increases exponentially as the output voltage increases towards the zero. So, this region is known as saturation region. In this region, the collector current is exponentially increased by smaller change in this VCB. Okay, that is called as saturation region. So, that's what given here. Active region means emitter based junction is forward biased. Collector based junction is reverse biased. In this region, collector current is almost equal to emitter current. That is output is equal to input. It is independent of the output voltage. The next one is cutoff region. It is the region below the curve I is equal to 0. If I is equal to 0, that is emitter is open, then the collector current is only due to the reverse saturation current which is negligibly small. So, here the output current is almost equal to 0. Okay, so in this cutoff region, emitter based junction and collector based junction both are reverse biased. Okay, so next one is saturation region. This is the region to the left of VCB is equal to 0. That is negative value of this VCB. Here the collector current increases exponentially as the output voltage increases toward 0 volt. So after 0 volt it is constant with respect to IE. Correct? So in this saturation region emitter base and collector base junctions are forward biased. Okay. The comparison of these three regions are given here. In active region emitter base junction is forward biased. Collector base junction is reverse biased. At that condition, we can get the maximum output. In cutoff region, emitter base and collector base both are reverse biased. At that time, there is no output. In the saturation region, here emitter base, collector base both are forward biased. Here, this output current increases exponentially when this output voltage increases to 0 volt. Okay. The next one is an important characteristics of common base configuration that is early effect or base width modulation. When the reverse bias is increased at the collector side, the width of the base is getting reduced. Correct? Reverse bias means positive is connected with this negative. So what will happen? A large number of electrons are flowing from this emitter to this collector in a very high manner. So, here the base width is getting reduced due to increasing this collector voltage. Collector voltage is nothing but reverse bias voltage. Okay. So, the dependency of base width on this collector voltage is known as base width modulation. So, base width modulation means if we are going to increase this reverse bias, base width is getting reduced due to this the collector current is increased. Here the collector current is increased means here the amplification current gain is also getting increased. Correct? Here output current by input current. Then we can get the maximum current factor. Okay? So that's what given here consequences of base width modulation. Here the current amplification factor increases and also 
the river saturation current is also increased okay so next punch through this is very important consequence of this base width modulation for extremely large collector voltage the effective base width is reduced to zero if it is reduced to zero for example we can say like this this is cn here it is n okay here it is p if this with this base with this reduced to zero means there is no base region what will happen the junction is broken then the voltage breakdown happens in this transistor okay that is the drawback in this base width modulation so next one is transistor parameters here we are going to use hybrid or h parameters to represent the transistor parameters okay there are four important parameters used to represent the performance or characteristics of cb configuration input impedance output impedance forward current gain reverse voltage gain it is represented as hib okay in suffix we can write hib hob hfb hrb here this b represents common base configuration i represents input impedance o represents output impedance f represents forward current gain r represents reverse voltage gain okay. let's discuss each parameter here as we all know that impedance means the ratio of voltage to current okay here input impedance that means the ratio of the change in input voltage to the change in output voltage with the condition vcb as a constant that is output voltage as a constant it ranges from 20 ohm to 50 ohm so its value is low for this common base configuration so next one is output impedance output impedance means it is reciprocal of impedance so we can say the ratio of current to voltage so here it is output then we can consider the output parameters it is defined as the ratio of change in output current to the change in output voltage with the condition input current as constant so it is in the order of 0.1 to 10 micro ohm okay so here admittance value is low then what about output impedance so as you all know that output impedance that is output impedance is the reciprocal of output admittance so we can get very high output impedance do you all understand this concept so next forward current gain current gain means what the ratio of output current to input current with the condition output voltage is constant so for this common base configuration it is almost equal to 1 as you all know that ic is approximately equal to ie then we can get its value is almost 1 okay next reverse voltage gain so here we can consider the voltages alone reverse means input voltage to output voltage with a condition input current as constant so it is in the order of 10 to the power minus 5 to 10 to the power minus 4 its value is low okay finally the cb characteristics are given here it is having low input resistance very high output resistance current gain is almost 1 it is having low reverse voltage gain or moderate voltage gain due to this characteristics the cb configuration is widely used in high frequency applications for example input state of multi state amplifier